We're back in the game, and what are we doing? Two years has passed, ever since we left, you know, that time with the cedar tree. And we're in this, like, sword craft academy place. Uh, we're, like, a, a page, you know, a basic an apprentice of different masters, and, you know, we're doing well. Right now, we're in this conflict with Mr. Volo. I don't think he's bad. There's two other potentially bad dudes that's gonna maybe fuck up the flowers. You know, the Kirito's garden, I don't have a good feeling about that. But Mr. Volo... He's interested in Kirito, the new sword we got, the newest piece of shit, made with the tip of the evil demon tree. Let's see how strong this is. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Average high school students, and then there's always that one fucking freak. Someone ID this guy. I know this isn't a high school. It's just classic, like, you got these regular-looking teenagers that you just have this guy. That's Volo's dad, bro. That's Volo's dad! We're using practice swords, are we? Nah, I'd win. <laughs> Soak this sword in the blood of the mighty. Whoa, that went harder than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be some cringe-ass lie. Bro, soak this sword in the blood of the mighty goes hard. Jesus. Confidence. So basically, last mechanic, right? The more confident, the more you can envision yourself winning or being good, though you can literally overwrite this fucking game. But in this game, you know, people think like the more opponents you beat, the more experience, the more confidence that you actually create and the stronger you are. Bro, this is Ryuga, El Drago. Oh. A gift. The flowers. Yeah. That too. Dude, he is so jacked that even his jacket shows the fucking abs. His eyes. Something about him just seems so evil, but I think he's a decent person. Hi. Tachainin,引き受けてもらえないか。ほ。分かった。俺に死による。一本選手の手厚をこれより始める。Swordman's Pride. Hajime! Hajime! Oh. 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 Motherfucker imbued with demon energy from the cedar tree. Fuck you. It's super cool. <laughs> He's trash, bro. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can feel the aura. I can feel the pressure. Mountain splitting style. You're going all out immediately. Because, like, Kirito has played as Seo, knows the sword art. And while it may seem to everyone else in here that it is the mountain splitting style, to Kirito, he knows this. It's avalanche. Meaning all the fucking techniques he already knows, it's already downloaded. You know why? Because Zacido. Fucking beater. <laughs> Okay. When the sweat drops in the ground, Hajime.
That's right. This is still only three feet. One more. What? Motherfucker has an entire family lineage back to his great 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 grandfather supporting his ass. This ain't fair. Think about Asna. Think about Yu Gi Oh, dude. Even Lena's giving up. Even Lena Senpai was like, shit, it's a fucking rap. I can see the mental image too. Ass <laughs> not the very end. Ass not the very end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see the let's see the people as of importance, right? Obviously the last is the most important. You have Asna, right? You got Sugu, Silica, Lisbeth before Silica and Sugu. Inch well, no, 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 no. That, that is the order. So, you know, obviously, Silica. Silica's top three, though. Silica top three. That's pretty fucking impressive, man. Right? Silica top three. There's Lisbeth. You got, you know, Sino and Klein. Angel made it in. Lina Senpai, Yuchio. Okay. Oh, Are we forgetting anyone? I don't think so. Yo, where the fuck is Yui? Yo! Where's our daughter Yui at? The so Yui's getting done dirty. What the fuck? It's your goddamn AI daughter. She's not important to you? You're not fighting for your daughter? Yo, when Kirito was like in, you know, in GGO, Yui literally, <laughs> remember how we placed Kirito's hand on the fucking smartphone to see if like Yui could fucking contact Kirito, bro? Like all that shit and nothing. <laughs> Fuck Golden Eye Kirito. Golden Sword Kirito. All right. We got the fucking super hacks, but it's the sword right now. The mental image. The sound effects. The sword grew. A tree. The demon tree. A tree. No, we won! Oh, maybe it just grazed him, so it doesn't count. Does that strike not count? It was first to strike. We cut his clothes off. It's not a scratch, I guess. But, like, I, that's a win for us, man. Who is this? Oh, it's the other sensei. Didn't realize she has so much authority. Four, four Empire Unification Tournament. I'm gonna guess, basically, you saw in this central city, there's like four partitions of different regions that's color-coded, right? That must be like the four different empires. I'm not really sure. Thank you, Corny Guy, for the gift to sub, man. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Punishment. Paulo's a nice guy. You know, I'll, at the, the mud didn't matter, right? The mud was an excuse to kind of like pick a fight so that he could like try to devour him and get the mental image down. But Paulo's a nice guy. He even, you know, you know, even just said like, yeah, the punishment's done. Yeah, this is not anything. Yep. <laughs> Okay, I, that, these, are, these two are the reactions that I wanted to see, the fucking blonde guy. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> these two fucking losers is what I wanted to see the entire time. Yeah, they were shook. They're absolutely fucking shook. Bald, by the way. Okay. Who the fuck is this dude? Is, it, is he yu master? It is, right? He's yu gi oh is his page, I think. <laughs> Lina Senpai. Yeah, I know. She had no faith, bro. Like, she gave up the. F she was the first one to give up of all fucking people. Yeah, that was cool. Hmm? Mm. Everything to her
Nah, fuck that shit. That's not a job for me. He still cut the clothes, and while it might have not been skin contact, you know, first to strike, that sound that counts as first blood to me. I don't care. Oh? Oh, yes, ma'am. And true, she hasn't even seen the dual wielding, bro. I guess, how is the dual wielding gonna work, right? I, I, I guess dual wielding will only happen at the most, most important moment, right? And same with like ALO, right? They saved that fucking moment to the very end. So Kirito could dual wield and, you know, bullshit heads that way out. The second sword is definitely gonna be Blue Rose, right? Yu Gi Oh! at some point is gonna, you know, give Kirito the fucking sword. Dual wield will happen. Swordland will play. You know how it goes. What does the first sword of the Empire truly think? I'm not really sure. You want to check out what episode of Code Yes we're on? Go to the Patreon. You can see everything there. They're drunk. Passed out. Well, to be fair, Aincrad style is OP because we already know all the fucking movesets that the opponents are going to use because somehow they're just copy-pasted with different names. Like, you know, it's, we're just fucking cheating. また is that a real world? I gotta Google this. There's, there's no way this is a real word. Causing slight but persistent annoyance, discomfort, or anxiety. Niggling. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna say that. The AI voice can talk, though. Senpai, it's really not like that. He's cheating. Yeah? You understand? That the fucking devs of Wrath were too goddamn lazy to implement new entire sword movesets. They just copy-pasted the base fucking movesets that existed but of different names. Do you really understand that, senpai? <laughs> we are giving senpai a delusion right now. Like, she is like getting false hope because she's inspired by what Kirito was able to do with Aincrad style to almost come toe to toe with Volo without even understanding how much of fucking cheats we're doing. Alright, Senpai. Yuji still passed out with Master? The garden. Oh, caught ya! What you do? Nano Yoda. Nurong, Kiden no Migotona Tataka. Anoyona, Kokuge, Jimita, Kenju, Sunia. Sashimo, Shusekido, Matasho, Menkrata. Fucking so happy about pussies. Tom de Monai. Joku Kizoka, Keste, Hemi, Nanik. Dude, did you not just see the battle against Volo? You would never be able to compete. You really using your nobleman ranking when you fully are aware that you're weaker than Kirito. Come on, have some shame. <laughs> oh my god. What? What did they do? I want to just kill these dudes, but it's probably against the fucking, you know, the taboo index to just go around, you know, slashing. This is when we need some members of Laughing Coffin to do our, you know... Imagine if we had Zaza. Imagine if we had, like, Death Gun here. It'd be like, listen, we have our differences, but, like, can you go take them out? Laughing Coffin would come in so clutch right now. 
What do you put in there? The flower, right? They fucked up the garden, the gift, man. Like, what else would have happened? Like, we knew this was gonna happen. Like, fuck this shit, man. It was a gift for Lena Senpai! Oh, fuck me. These aren't just any regular flowers. These flowers actually have lore behind it, so we're gonna feel even worse. Oh no! There is so much meaning in the flowers! It represents Kirito. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing at that. It just sounds like the flowers are just like his imaginary friend because he's so lonely and stuck here. And, you know, the resemblance of like oh, no other flowers. Can... But it's cool that he was able to use his mental limits to, you know, grow these flowers. <laughs> This is like a graveyard for the flowers. No! No! <laughs> I felt more pain there than like most other character deaths in SAO. Like fucking Sachi disappearing. I forgot about that shit a long time ago, bro. That's like fucking season one content. Fuck Sachi, bro. These flowers are more impactful than Sachi's death. Who talking? Sensei? Who the fuck is talking? Oh, shut the fuck up. You tell me we're about to get a flower resurrection magic scene happening right now? Is this someone outside right now? Like, that's looking... Like, it's not Asuna. Rinko? No, I don't know who this voice actor is. I thought for a second it was, like, the voice of that sensei who stopped the battle because, like, I don't know, she was kind of part of that empire and there was, like, the whole flower lore with the empire shit. But, like, the way that it seems, like, it sounds like, you know, Kirito's link started and someone's, like, talking to Kirito right now. Who knows? But, like, we're, ta we're learning about Sacred Arts. Remember how if you don't have that Sacred Arts authority level some shit, like, we can't really use it? But now it's like, nah, it's about purpose. Just imagine, bro. Can we feel it? Resurrection! Bro doesn't even ask who's talking to him. Who are you? Flower magic, here we go! Resurrection time! We really doing durability transfer right now? He's schizo talking to the fucking flowers. Okay, can't do it, sure? Oh fuck! They're back! What the fuck was that scene? It's, it's probably super important. I have no idea who that person is. One of the questions I had in my mind was like, was, is this Alice? Remember how Alice was talking kind of, saying I'll be waiting at the top of the central cathedral? I'm not sure if it was the same voice actor. And then I thought maybe it's the sensei that stopped the battle because again, it's the flower lore with the empire lore. I don't know. And then I'm thinking, is this someone from Wrath outside talking to Kirito Link started right now? Because the way that person was talking to Kirito, it, like, it seemed very intent on the wording and trying to explain how like, you know, the art system kind of works here. Like you just need to fucking... What was he like? Purpose? What the fuck did that even mean? Like, what? What the fuck did I even mean? Like, you, you just need a sense of purpose? Can't you hear it? The flower wants to save the other flowers. Like, I, I, I'm so confused. 
They're more than guiding tools. Sorry, they're no more than tools for guiding and arranging what you call. Again, the whole mental image concept comes back. Mental image was about that confidence that was built to the point where if you feel confident enough, you can overwrite the fucking rules of the world. So maybe the mental limits goes beyond just swordsmanship and he was able to use fucking sacred arts behind, beyond his capabilities because his mental image was there. Am I correct in assuming that? I have no fucking clue. That was very confusing, man. Tournament already! Huh? Oh shit, we already skipped to it. We're already getting Volo versus, you know, our senpai. Let's go. <laughs> Jesus, the sound effects. <laughs> Who won? It's that technique! Oh, you fucking cheater. <laughs> She's, she has the same pose. Four piece combo. Remember to counter the fucking mountain strike or some shit? She fucking adapted so quick. Four strike combo. Let's go. At the end of the day, it didn't matter whether or not Lina Senpai understood Kirito as a cheater. None of that shit matters. You know why? Because it was all about confidence. And Lina gained confidence after watching Kirito do that shit. Inspired. And when you have that, you have the stronger mental image. So Damn. Rank 1 defeated. Who would win? Multiple generations. Of the fucking family that, you know, Volo is from. All of those battle experiences accumulated, passed on to the next generation. Momentum so high because of this compounded effect of all the previous ancestors looking over Volo. Or Lina Senpai watching Kirito, you know, fucking counter once and then copying. Lina Senpai would win. Oh, they're graduating! Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, this motherfucker, dude, dude, dude. He was not a. He, he, I know he was. Yuji was his page, but he, this dude was a fucking student. I want you to know. This is a graduation gift. <laughs> Lena and this dude are the same age right now. Holy shit! This guy hasn't actually said a word, by the way. Yuji's master hasn't said a single line. He has like, Asia. He 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 got served the Asia thing. Where he just kind of exists and says nothing. Oh, he's talking, but he's not talking. Oh, Lina Senpai! Oh, shit! Top six? Cool, cool, cool. Yo! It's an elite disciple dormitory! We got the special, special treatment now! Who are you? Okay. It's Kirito's page. Okay, the door just opened. Oh, Jesus. I wasn't crazy. I'm like, the door fucking opened. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. What? What the fuck? Whoa, whoa! とんでもありません。おいおい。ベイド。人の留守に何を言って。キリト上級集権士ども、ご報告します。本日の戦争滞りなく。おねえ、キリト。彼女たちはお前の何倍も忙しいんだから、掃除が終わるまでにはまだ
<laughs> They're so professional. In order to avoid wasting the life of these goods, we will now return to our dorms at top speed. I'm taking this shit so fucking seriously. Very cunning. <laughs> Honey pies. Deer cafe. Deer cafe. Ho, whoa, whoa. なんだよ。いや、別に何でも、なんで僕らがここにいるのか忘れておいでじゃないでしょう。What the fuck are we here? Oh yeah, Ruby Palace, Central Cathedral. Get to the top, Alice. Alice is still fucking waiting. What are we doing? ようやくここまで来たんだぜ. You gotta become Integrity Knights and Ari Aris, right? At the top of Ainkra, I will be waiting for you. At the Ruby Palace, I mean Cathedral. And that's today's episode of SAO. Probably one of the best episodes, I think. Well, I, 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 episode one was fucking amazing. No, no. Even the episodes outside with Kikoka revealing the identity and like telling the shit. No, those episodes were amazing. This is a really great episode too, though. Definitely one of the top episodes that I've seen. It was basically a duel between Valo and Kirito to start this off. And we learned a couple important things. Number one, the devs are fucking lazy. And they just copy pasted the skills of different names. So Kirito just basically knows every sword art that exists in here. It's just a different name. So he already knows how to counter everything. Number two, the mental image, right, we're talking about is very important. The more confidence you have, the more... You know, able that you feel you can do something, you can rewrite the rules. Rewrite the rules to the point where you can fucking summon the golden mode onto your sword. The sword literally grows. He's a grower. The sword fucking grows. The demon tree is shown behind. Holy fuck. That was hype, man. I know it's not the same as Golden Eye Kirito, but having this gold sword, I feel like it's similar. Every time Golden you know, Eye Kirito was doing something in Season 1 and Season 2, it's basically hack mode Kirito. And I feel like this is kind of similar to that. Like an homage. But this time, there's a little bit more explanation of what's going on with the mental image. Right? Now, Lena some, And then there are some really shitty things going on with Rios and this piece of shit. I swear to God. I think these are two are lovers, man. But... Because of them, we learned something important. We learned that uh, Kirito is schizo and talked to a bunch of flowers and resurrected flowers. How? Again, with this theme of mental image, projection, a purpose, right? Mental image, purpose. He became a conduit and was able to use these sacred flowers and transfer the durability. I don't know how the fuck that shit works. But another way of Kito being able to use sacred arts without actually having the authority level to do so is what I was getting at. I'm not really sure who was even talking. It's hilarious how Lina Senpai, after you know witnessing Kirito's duel once, was able to copy the exact fucking four strike combo <laughs> and beat Volo, who comes from like a history, like a lineage of just absolute sword masters who pass down their you know confidence mental image. But it's like nah, Lina is also a fucking beater. And then our senpais graduate, Kirito and Yujiro are promoted to top like ranking disciples, elite disciples. We got our own dis uh, dormitories. And like we're top six right now. But remember, the goal here is to grind it out at the academy, become an integrity knight so that we can get closer to the central cathedral because at the top lies Alice. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed the reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. Until next time, take care.